Hi everybody and welcome to a look at Pro Builder version 2.5. So this is a uh, really big update, um, or at least uh, especially on the visuals and GUI front. So we've added in a really, um, really great GUI. We think a, new, a change to that so it's now either icon-based or text-based. We kept the old text version, but added a really great new uh, icon-based version that a lot of people have been asking for and updated a lot of things in it, not just looks, also functionality. So of course we still open that via tools. Pro Builder and then Pro Builder window, and open uh, the uh, or the new Pro Builder GUI uh, toolbar will pop open just like this. If it doesn't look the same, um, probably the first thing to go over here is you can now change it instantly. Just drag, and the buttons will organize themselves to fit within the box. So if you need to fit your GUI in a specific way, that's perfectly fine. As you can see here, the um, the little color tips at the top, which I'll explain more uh, later, will also change, will orient themselves based on if it's a vertical or horizontal style menu. So with this, you can really fit it into your uh, Unity GUI a lot more easily, um, use up that screen space as best as possible, which we know is always uh, a big issue. Um, personally, I like to have it right about here off to the side, um, make it as tall or short as you want. It can also scroll, so using your scroll wheel, you can move that up or down. Uh, you can use the little arrows that are built in also if you'd rather do that or if you don't have a scroll wheel uh, for some strange reason. Uh, who knows? Um, okay, so scrolling, you can change it, uh, move it around. Uh, maybe the next thing to look at is, of course, yes, you can change it back to the text mode if you prefer, although that also has a lot of improvements. Uh, most of the improvements I'll be talking about will apply to both text and icon. But let's take a look at changing it to text for a moment. So click on Edit. Go down to Preferences and click on Pro Builder. Uh, if you haven't already, definitely go through and take a look at all the different preference options and such that we do have available here. Uh, even a lot of the um, shortcut keys and such can be edited, so there's lots of good stuff here, but I think a lot of people just don't necessarily know it. Uh, anyway, so we have our, our preferences here, and right under Toolbar Settings, Use Icon GUI right now is turned on. If I turn that off, Right away, you see in the background here, we've changed to the new, uh, uh, sorry, to the new text, but still the old text, however you want to think of it. Um, this is just a regular old text bar. So if you preferred that, it's still here, uh, still all available for you, uh, if you like that better than the icons. So let's take a look at the actual functionality improvements in here, not just the fancy new visuals. Um, I'll bump that back to the icon mode just so we can show off all the uh, the new bits in there and change this back to use icon GUI alright so the first and maybe most obvious thing is we have the colored indicators on the left so this was the way that we figured out would be uh, best for showing the types of buttons so the top these uh, orangish areas are all tool panels then we have the selection area which is that blue color and the green is for uh, handles and pivot settings. Uh, below that, we have uh, the geometry tools. And just like in previous versions of Pro Builder, you'll notice that this is still uh, totally dynamic. So as you're changing between different editing modes, for example, in full object mode, you do not have the same tools as Vertex edge or face. They change in there uh, just to make sure that it's only showing what it actually needs to to keep your toolbar as slim and simple as possible. Also if it's grayed out that just means that you can't use it so you won't accidentally be trying to use uh, tools that you can't currently. Uh, for example if I click on a face notice all the face applicable, applicable items uh, light up if I hold shift and then select another face. Uh, buttons that only apply when I have multiple faces selected those also add up now. Did I say add up? I meant to say light up. Another addition is the new and improved uh, extra function ability uh, or extra functions for buttons. So if you see a little plus icon next to a, a, a button, uh, whether in the icon mode or the text based mode, you can hold alt and tap on that and it will open up the options for that function. So a lot of times um, you'll want to change exactly how it works or use it in a specific manner. This is how you'll do it here. Um, so hold out and click on it, left click of course, and then in this case the grow has the restrict angle, the max angle, whether it's iterative, items like that. Uh, if you're doing something like extrude, alt and click, 
then you'll get extrude, uh, sorry, extrude as a group or the distance and you can use the button right here to do it to do that extrude uh, or you can still once you've set the the settings there they'll remain as your defaults and then they'll automatically happen that way every time the least flashy but possibly best addition to the new GUI is actually our totally custom tooltips that are now available so when you hover over any item you'll get these really nice tooltips that show the name of the button you're about to click on uh, its shortcut if applicable and then a quick description which we'll be adding more to also and hopefully uh, even links to the full documentation within there if we can um, but this is really handy so that you can quickly look through the GUI if you're new to it or especially if you're learning the new buttons um, and see the shortcut and a brief description of what it does also, once you're used to everything and are uh, a total master of the GUI or of ProBuilder, you can turn off those tooltips entirely and just set it so only when you hold shift, only then will they pull, uh, will they show up so they aren't bumping around getting in your way in case you, uh, you'd rather not have them there. So that's it for the major GUI improvements. Let's take a look at a few of the functions and features that we've added in. Uh, number one is something that we added in after a chat with uh, William Scher, the Manifold Garden creator. Um, so now in the Object Info menu, where you have the Show Dimensions Overlay, which I think a lot of people also don't oops, realize exists, there's this. This is the default regular dimensions overlay, and you can now turn off the lines in case they're getting in the way. So Edit, Preferences, back down to Pro Builder, of course and you can turn off the actual lines on that right there dimension overlay lines turn that off and now you have just the uh, object dimensions uh, info without the lines in case that's handy to you we've also added quite a few uh, functions to the toolbar that were previously only available in the menu up here items like the conform normals freeze transforms and the uh, triangulate objects button which will just set it to everything to look like uh, rather like the poly world by um, quantum theory I believe his name is on the uh, asset store with that that great look with the uh, triangulated um, mesh for everything so you can do that to a pro builder object very quickly with that button there or the function there and lastly we've also added a much requested feature to subdivide edges directly so now I can select any edge and subdivide it into multiple new edges. So by default, it will subdivide it directly in the center. So now there's a new vertex in the center. I can also select an edge and use that fancy new Alt click to bring up the settings for that function. And in this function, we can set it all the way up to currently 32 new edges. Uh, obviously, be careful with this. You can create some pretty funky geometry, um, but very useful in case you need to quickly add more detail to a, a section of an object. And you just need to add verts inside the edges. Let's uh, let's make those verts a little more obvious. This is a quick use of that preferences that I also like to keep showing off so people know it's here. Let's take that vert handle size and just make it larger. So that's something you can also do in those preferences. Keep trying to uh, push people to take a look at that. Lots of cool things you can edit in there. All right, and that's it for this look at the version 2.5 update. Um, hope you enjoy everything with the new GUI toolbar and its functionality. Definitely let us know as you're using it if there's anything else you'd like us to change or edit, uh, how those icons work for everyone. Uh, I'm no uh, super icon smith, but I think they turned out pretty well, and we're definitely uh, happy to look into any that uh, aren't working out well for you, just in case. Um, and always, of course, remember as well, there is still that text mode in case you prefer that. Um, and that's it, really. So thanks for taking a look, and we'll see you in future updates. Lots of, uh, lots of new things to come soon. Okay, thanks.